So you might be wondering, why did we skip season two? Well, we didn't. I did do it. I reacted to all six episodes of season two, but we ran into an issue where, so for a little bit, I was only posting full length to Patreon, and I was gonna go back and edit the season two videos to post those to YouTube, and I have an external hard drive with all the footage on it, but unfortunately that hard drive is now corrupted, so all that footage is gone. I lost more than Peaky Blinder season two also. I lost a lot of stuff on that hard drive. I didn't lose any videos I hadn't already edited into a cut up version. Those are all good. I lost a lot of footage that I can't make into full length versions anymore. So, but with the Peaky Blinders, I already made the full length versions, posted those, and I was gonna go back and do the edited versions and it was gone by then. So yeah, that's why there's no season two. But full length reactions to season two are available on Patreon if you'd like to watch those. But unfortunately, that's all I have for season two so I apologize about that. But anyways, here's season three. Oh, I love my god gloves. Yep, and this dude working for Winston Churchill saved Tommy here. And the Blake Midwinter. At some point in the near future, Mr. Churchill will want to speak to you in person. Well, Mr. Campbell is going to be pissed that Tommy didn't die. But what the fuck are you going to do about it? None. He's going to do absolutely nothing. <laughs> Two years later. All right. Hmm. Oh, yeah. He's getting married. <laughs> yeah, because Grace is pregnant with his child. Who's that? No character. <sighs> you know, I'm happy that they're getting married, but at the same time, I kind of liked May better. I was kind of over Grace by the time she came back into it. I was like, eh, good for them though. Dance and little white clouds like a gambling. It's a big ass painting. <laughs> That's a sick painting. Now pronounce you husband and wife. Still your hands, still your hands. Sus. Five minutes. Actually, we were told on the train there'd be cocaine. Sorry, sweetie. To ask someone young, will there be cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> I am young, informed, and uh, very well equipped. Shows you man wisely. <laughs> This game in her. No snow today. No snow today. Yeah, Arthur has a coke addiction, so... Today? This is my fucking wedding day. Yeah. <laughs> and you said there'd be no bloody uniforms. Nevertheless, nevertheless mm. John. Now, for Grace's sake, nothing will go wrong. No cocaine. No sports. No telling fortunes. No racing. No fucking sucking petrol out of their fucking cars. <laughs> Ooh, Michael, damn. But the main thing is, you bunch of fuckers, no fighting. Just fucking behave. Be good boys, okay? No fighting. No fucking fighting. No fighting. No <laughs> you fucking You don't have to say that. Fighting! <laughs> Get the fucking... <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> Come on. I am sorry that they wore their uniforms. Yeah, they fucking did, eh? They fucking did. But I can tell it's more than that. I need you to tell me that it's business making you like this mm. and not regret over me. Ooh, it's definitely a bit of that. It's business, Grace. A bad, bad business it is all around. Mm, but verbally say it's not regret over her. And I'm scared, Grace. I'm scared for you. I'm scared for the baby. And this is how I am when I'm scared. It's unfamiliar to you, but not to me. Mm. I can fucking be scared. And carry on. We just made vows to share everything. Tell me what it is you're afraid of. My ops, bro. I'm scared of our families beefing and killing each other, too. And he knows it's probably inevitable. Because of everyone's goddamn ego. I'm scared of fucking all this bitch. <laughs> I would be, too. Me, too. A fucker could literally say anything. <laughs> what you call an animal with a prick halfway up its back? A cavalry horse. Shut <laughs> up, bro. Stop. Your best man, Arthur. Go and find them. No! <laughs> Fucking no! 
he'd probably walk and be like, oh, my, and just walk out. Be like, oh, shit, my bad. And then, you know, now if Grace's family walked in, that's probably a different story. He's looking over. Yeah. What do you mean the wrong one? How many are there? There's two giving me the eye. I prefer the other one. He looked harmless. Yeah, those two guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, I won't mention this in my speech, then. No. Right? Not unless no. you want to get cut, Arthur. <laughs> Russia. In the past few months, Thomas has developed some business interests with Russia. So perhaps you'll just tell me why the fuck you're talking Russian business on Thomas's wedding day. Ooh. I'm in a couple now and again to remind myself why I don't drink it. Mm. You set fire to his restaurant to stop him coming. Yeah. You have no right. Yeah, well, you can tell Tommy from me all the girls in the office think he's losing his fucking mind. My best man. I'll say a few words. I'm nervous. I do, uh... I do have some words written down here. Okay, so I think it'd be really bad or really sincere. <laughs> no in between. This doesn't in include everything that I want to say. First, uh, a few words from, from the heart. This man here, my brother Tommy. Okay, great start. Helped me survive through some of the worst times. What, what I'm trying to say is that... Tommy's a great man. He'll take care of Grace. Even though circumstances of their union was tragic. Mm. Uh, to love, to peace. I mean, Arthur was really trying there. Like, I, I feel so bad for him, dude. Like, he, he was really trying, dude. He's trying his best. Mm. And, oh, no. He feels embarrassed now. I think I messed it up. You spoke with such truth, and God heard you. This woman's great for him. Anyway, she's a brand new character for the hell. Lost the Grace's side. Don't even know her husband killed himself. I mm. think it was an accident. Think I am, Tommy, eh? You think I'm a fucking right, idiot? Boys. Oh, yep. it's science! Come on, That's it. Keep walking. Nice. Oh. And I'll yeah, Arthur is not mentally stable. It's just getting worse and worse. Three shots of it. That's it. Yeah, I, know. I drew the lock. Probably on a coke, too. The Russians have made contact. For them, family is a weakness, and they go after him. Mm -hmm. For me, family is my strength, and there's business to be done. We were told to ask for a code name, and contact was made. Constantine. The code is Constantine. A boy seen a cave. <laughs> Cavalry boys ride like a sack of style. Damn, right? yeah, fans are really grown up. I remember in season one when he was just a wee little lad. The Turks claim. I am Russian. <laughs> Same fucking thing. Yeah, we're gonna get into the beef with the Russians this season. Uh, I can guarantee you that Shelby's are gonna fucking die. <laughs> Wait, is Campbell dead? I know Ampoli shot him, but I don't think I don't know if he was ever pronounced like officially dead or not. Cause I, I literally just remembered that I said Campbell's gonna be pissed that Tommy's still alive. I said that in the beginning of this video, but I just remembered. Oh, he got capped. I don't think like, I don't think like the show confirmed that he died. But you want me to be like them, don't you? There's a cavalry officer stationed in Salon. And when his tour of duty ends in March, we'll be engaged. I have a bright future too. He's gonna die. And then Michael's gonna get with her. <laughs> so afterwards, he told me everything. Royalist Russians buying weapons to fight the Bolsheviks in Georgia. Let's not forget I used to do this for a living. Oh, I haven't forgotten, sweetheart. Mm. It's only Thomas that's forgotten what you are. <sighs> Polly just told me that. There's business being done. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask him to come. Just get this business done and you get away from things like this. It's not who Tommy is. He never, nope, 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 nope. He'll never be able to run from stuff like this. I promise. I'll make a sight. <sighs> nah, Grace is definitely going to die at some point. And it's going to be Tommy's fault. And it's going to be tragic. Oh my God. Oh my God. The tension's rising. May I introduce you to the Grand Duchess Tatiana Petrovna? Give me the money. I was told to give it to Mr. Kaladin. Whoever it is up there. Is his hair dark? The instructions I was given was anyone using the wrong code name was an infiltrator mm -hmm. for the Soviet embassy. Just let me go to the house. I do not want this shit. Anyone here in my fucking house? Mm -hmm. All I know is no variations. That's from Churchill himself. Yeah. And you do this to me on my fucking wedding day. 
The money is in the car, Mr. Shelby. I don't trust that at all. Fetch it out and count it. No, bring it to me. <coughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. We're good. Oh, okay. That was easy. Can you do it? Can you kill? The truth is that I slept with the wife of one of the colonels who sat for me. But that was 12 years ago. What a dog. <laughs> Shall we kill him? Mm. He's a red. All right, shit's going down. Where is she? Out by the stables. Mm. <sighs> he knows. He's not dumb. Can I use lavatory? He's Devin. Piss outside. By the stables. <laughs> no. He's gonna get one of us, I feel like, because he knows, bro. Watching our men do battle. A little bit too close to the fighting to be general, surely. <laughs> what a diss. That's <laughs> uh, Michael. No, oh, he's not dead, but dude. Ah! The archer's an animal. Oh. Some of us only agreed to come today to bless this union because of your exemplary war record. Mm -hmm. But. As I'm still deeply uneasy about the many stories of corruption and violence. Yeah, that's pretty valid. <laughs> the fucking wine and smile. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Damn. Is that John? Dude, John's fucking jacked. Oh my god. What the f? I did not think he'd be that jacked. I think that was John. <laughs> Don't shoot. No! Uh, no, for the love of God. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. No! Oh, oh he did it. <laughs> Well, this is gonna start a huge chain of events. There's not, I, this, there's no way this goes well for us. There's no, there's no way. This, everything only goes downhill from here. You do not fuck with the Russians ever. Good night, Mr. Oliver. Uh, you have my card. Never mind. Anytime you're in London, we could have tea. He seems like a really nice guy, though. Seems like a really good guy. Oh, she, she's gonna take that and shut the door on him, huh? Well, he offered it anyway, but... I'm probably scared of love and everything and getting hurt, like, emotionally and physically. Arthur, you mustn't worry about what happened with the speech. No, he's not worried about that. He, he already feels guilty and regrets what he did. And you're willing to gamble it all on one robbery? Yeah. I'm a gambling man, Paul. No, Tommy, no, this is such a bad idea. Alright, well that was Season 3, Episode 1. The lot's complete warehouse. Base 4, 5, and 6. You have the keys? Yes, I have keys. What's in Base 4? This guy was in Game of Thrones. He was in the Ironborn, pretty sure. So what is your charitable institute opening? <sighs> when I fucking say. Tommy's so dull with this dude. Cold. Whoa, no shit, it's cold. I had to run like a fucking half mile to get here. The last century still lives in a cracked pot. Sir, I have a list of today's... So ungrateful. ...luncheon at the Ritz with Duke Mikhail Mikhailovich. Oh, that was a nude. Cancelled. Mm. Yeah, Tommy's being this dude. You do have one business appointment to discuss automobiles with a, uh, Mr. Thomas Shelby, sir. Yep. See that? Where is Thomas? He got called away. He said he'd be here. We want an explanation. The little Venice restaurant in 4th Street was burnt down. None. To stop my son being at that same wedding. Mm. But once you borrowed clothes from us to look like men. As a tail, off, is it? All right, I guess we're going back to beefing with the Italians. <laughs> Peace treaty is over. You tell him from me that my son will walk with any woman in this city. My son is in love. Sorry. No excuse me. It'd be hard for your son to walk anywhere with a bullet in each knee, wouldn't it? You said too much, my friend. Oh, fuck you, it's strong. Put two extra men on our pubs in Nichols. 
I'm scared of fucking eye ties anymore. Don't tell Tommy about the chair and clean this fucking shit up. Well, good job, John. All right, John. Arthur! Mm -hmm. Yeah, Arthur knows I was stupid of John to say. I like John, but he's wildin' sometimes. And it's like, dog, chill out. Like, that is not... Like, the entire time, I was just thinking... That is not what Tommy would say or do in this situation. It kind of seems like he wants... Like, he's trying to be like Tommy there, and it's just it didn't, didn't really work. No one can be Tommy. Gotta rip this page out. No, you cannot rip that page out, property of the people. Uh, Joe Goldberg would be tripping if you asked him that. I'll just have a job for you after all. He's not bigger than two pence worth of change. Well, he heard you threatened him directly to shoot him in the knees, and now he's going around yeah. Nichols telling everybody he's going to kill you. Good job, John. Great job. We run London. I run the north, run the whole fucking country. What do we care? Nature's growing our We don't need to be getting involved in all these little piss pots. Just because we can doesn't mean we need to be. If he said it, there'd be a fight. Mm -hmm. He says, apologize. Yes. We own the city. But we don't need to rub everybody's noses in it. So if the old man decides to make a stand, he might get Sabini feeling sentimental. Sabini's done. Nah, he'll come back. But we don't want. Rebellions. Mm-hmm. Compromise. It will lose its face. Take his fucking face. How about that? John, do nothing. Mm. John's too emotional, dude. There's fucking feelings for what? Gets us in the shit like this. Myself, my wife and my niece travel by train, then coach. <laughs> when Tommy looks so weird, he, look, he looks so like pissed off. I immediately kissed the steel deck. My lip froze to it. <laughs> he does not care. Dude, wait, why does, yeah, wait, why does he look so weird right here? Like, he looks annoyed, but I'm not talking about like, the acting. I'm talking about just like the way he, like, Killian literally looks. God of the king. Sometimes both, Mr. Shelby. You met my niece already? Did he die well? I'm the spy. Mm. He begged for his life. Let's talk about trust then. You were not a direct relation to the Romanovs. You were Georgian. Mm. Well, he don't like that. He don't like uh, being called a Georgian. By the British Crown, a major do you? Tells me that you were in some debt. My wife managed two sapphires and five diamonds. It's already for the killing of the spy and the down payment on future services. Okay. Tommy, don't try and steal Tommy, the rest. Where do, you, without... where do you keep these things? <laughs> Tommy. Hatton Gardens is not safe. That's why we have our own treasury. Where? <laughs> Before the revolution began, we were soft and weak. We made compromise. But let me tell you, we will never be soft and weak again. Do you understand? I buy him as a legit threat. But I feel like Tommy, Tommy better not try and steal the rest of his diamonds and like sapphires and everything, dude. That, that would be such a dumb idea. John, oh my God. John, you don't need to be fighting the Italians, dog. This shit, this was gonna be resolved. Oh, stay away from Lizzie! Oh, ah. All right, well, John just started a literal fucking war now. Now it's really about to go down. Sit down. John, you caught Angel Changretta. Even though Arthur told you to apologize. Mm-hmm. And now I've got an Italian walking around my backyard saying he's gonna kill my brother. If you apologize once, you do it again and again and again, like taking bricks out of the wall of your fucking house. If you're soft on rebellion, it'll grow. What is soft on rebellion? You did the right thing, John. Oh. Uh. Now we go on the offensive. We take two of the Changretta pubs. We take them tonight. That's it. Oh, why? Hey! Why? Why? Because we fucking can! Because no. we fucking can! And if we can, we do! And if we lift our heel off their necks now, they'll just come at us! Remember, these are the bastards that wanted Danny Wu's bang dead. I mean... Tommy has a point. Oh, it's shit. Often like. Yeah, okay, yeah, Tommy's only like this because that's what the Russian dude just told him. You know, we'll never be soft and weak again. I can't, like, disagree with what John did, but then I agree with Tommy because... Okay, the difference is, John did it in an unstrategic way. He just did it out of pure emotion. Tommy's doing it in a strategic way, okay? Tommy has intent behind what he's doing. John just did it because fuck it. That's a difference. Like, there are going to be consequences of this. 
you know, and the only reason why Tommy wants to do this is because of that meeting he just had with the Russian dude. He's like, we will never be soft and weak again. So there's no way this works out without any consequence. But I mean, Tommy does have a point. You don't want the Italian rebellion to gain too much. You gotta shut, you gotta put your boot on them <laughs> before it's too late. Mm. The leader of the Birmingham City Council is going to attend the dinner. Set aside those three rotten floorboards upstairs and grant us a license within a month. She's so excited. It's not gonna happen though. There's no way for being this excited. Yeah, Tommy has a wife. Tommy has a kid now. I'm not saying he didn't before, but now he really, really has stuff to lose. I mean, he can, you know, he could lose his family, like his brothers and uh, Aunt Polly and everyone else, but like losing your wife and your child. You pull your, oh, I thought he was about to pull the day out. I was gonna give her the sapphire, huh? Necklace. Oh, that is not that. Okay. It's a great gesture. I don't know if that's a good idea. That's a target right there, bro. Oh, Mr. Shelby. How much is a sapphire even like worth? So imagine someone just sees that and just <laughs> snatches that off her. What are you doing, Arthur? What, what are you contemplating here? Arthur's right, still fighting demons. Working in the dark is for the devil. Start to do your work in the light. Mm -hmm. Side your head. It's just paperwork. But it's not dirty work. Need you to clear your men out of nature's tonight. Yeah, they gotta burn down the pubs. Mind you, I think Tom enjoys the sport. This is, yeah, this is a game to Tommy, dude. It's all a game. But until he faces real consequences... I mean, he has before, but like... Where someone he loves actually dies. They're losing this, okay? They have nothing to lose! They're just gonna nuke Tommy! Not literally, but like... They're gonna counter something big. Because what do they have to lose? This is very fucking unusual. It's a cool moss. They're from out of town, London, by the looks of the boots. It's where the waste get the coppers, Tom. The Italians move, huh? Tom. Oh, oh, oh. oh, shit, oh, oh, shit. 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 The fuck is happening, Tom? It's Campbell. He's not dead. Oh, it's Russian business. You visited your sister. Your sister is a potential security breach. She has connections with the Bolsheviks in love, who have connections with the Soviet embassy. I think you have the local police in your pocket. We have Scotland Yard. <laughs> Visit your sister again and she will die crossing the road. If you want to be dead, I'll be dead, wouldn't I? It's true, we do need you alive. Be sure to check under your little boy's pillow. We can reach anyone. That's anywhere. Scary. See, it's scary. Now tell me what I'm talking about. <laughs> tell me, they'll go after your fucking kid. <laughs> yeah, it scared the hell out of Tommy. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> tell us. Yeah, you're gonna take him seriously now? I mean, these aren't the Italians, Tommy. Believe me, I've painted many women who don't belong in their expensive dresses. There'll be no charge. Oh. You're normal, right? I insist. Mm, there's a first. <laughs> so when should we start? I've already started. Oh my god. This falls f***ing bricked. Invite me to what? Shelby Foundation dinner. Polly's going alone. You're invited. Ada. You're so... Story that never be she like Marilyn Monroe. Wait, Aunt Paul, oh my god, Aunt Paul, it looks so much like this picture I have in my head, but I don't know how to explain it, and I don't know what the name of it is. Oh my god, it's like a World War II poster or some sh Oh, she looked just like that person I had in my head.
taken you by surprise. I have adjusted it. <laughs> you should have kissed my hand, Mr. Shelby. She was asking about my sapphire. I thought I'd recognized it. She said it was Russian. Mm. My husband has business in Russia. Perhaps you know about it, Tatiana. Well, tonight's not yeah. a night for business, eh? Is that <laughs> you see, I'm in charge of compiling the list of guests, but it's uh, my husband who seems to know all of them. I hear he's very well connected. And where does the Duchess hear that? In certain mm. circles. All right, you know, I don't. Yeah, Grace is going to find out too much. Tatiana, you and I will speak later. I would like that. Tell me, would not it? The factory tomorrow was a mistake. Nevertheless, we will go. Does your wife know that the sapphire she's wearing has been cursed by a gypsy? Mm. <laughs> what did you say? Yeah. Nothing on earth would make me wear it. Look, Tommy's a gypsy. He can uncurse it too. <laughs> but no, Tommy's probably paranoid. It's you look beautiful. You look beautiful. You need to take this off. Why? Mm. Yeah, he's paranoid. Look at me. Fuck these people. Hey, fuck them. I need you. Be all right. Yeah, someone's gonna do. She's a target. It's cursed because it makes her a target. Should I go inside? Yeah. Oh, I oh, oh, shit. Oh. Arthur got his ass. Good shit, Arthur. Oh, we go. She got shot, though. Fuck, it was, it was a shoulder shot. Ah, uh, no. It was a shoulder shot. She, she, she could be fine, but oh my god. And she's just the Duchess is just like hmm. All right, well that was season three, episode two. All right, so Tommy got involved with the Russians and he's beefing with the Italians. John started the beef with the Italians again. That's that's on John. Tommy's just here to come clean it up and make sure we stomp on them. That's more of like a side thing. It's it's inconvenience if anything. Okay, they don't think shit. The real problem is the Russians and they just got Grace killed. I know I'm in a different room recording this outro right now. It's because I recorded this episode a little bit ago and I know my reaction was a little bit underwhelming, but I, I fully assumed Grace survived right here. I, I saw that she got shot in the shoulder. I thought she got shot just in the shoulder, but no, it was probably more towards the heart. And then the next episode I realized, oh no, she's actually dead. So. R.I.P. Grace. She is. She is gone. It just seems so random and like unexpected. I was like, no, it's just a shoulder wound. She'll be fine. But no, she she actually died. R.I.P. Grace. Now in real time, I've already watched up to episode four, so like I can't really give a prediction about what I think happens next because I know what happens next as I'm recording this outro right here, right now. So, anyways, that was Peaky Blinders season three, episodes one and two. Comment down below what you thought about these episodes down below in the comments, and if you liked the video, like the video, and thanks for watching.